everybody. How's it going? I am your host, Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC3 at Quicksurf Internet Studios. The Geekinator is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do head on over to techpodcast.com. Check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. And uh, with that, I'm just going to say it right off the bat. Uh, it is Thursday evening, about uh, uh, October, what's the date? October 23rd, about 9.40 p.m. in uh, California. Have you seen the trailer? Uh, Avengers Age of Ultron has come out. It is awesome. (laughs) Mind-blowingly awesome. Uh, I have a link to it in the show notes. Definitely go check it out if you have not already done so. Um, It is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Can't wait to see the movie. Um, Going to be great. Anyway. Uh, well, I'm not going to talk much more than that, but uh, it's, yeah, it's it's going to be fantastic. Uh, so anyway, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. Great, 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 great. I'm a huge Marvel uh, movie fan, so it's good to see that they're doing the Age of Ultron stuff. Really, really nice. From uh, the Sydney Morning Herald and their digital life section, Facebook launches anonymous message board app called Rooms. This is kind of interesting. Facebook is taking the wraps off of a new app for iOS called Rooms that brings people together around their interests. A room, I'm using air quotes here, is a feed of photos, videos, and text like Facebook or Instagram, but the focus is on a single topic chosen by the person who created it. Already popular on rooms, beatboxing, kicks from above, uh, which is cool shoes in cool places, and uh, mouth-watering home-cooked meals, not to mention families who have ditched suburbia to raise their kids on the road, and uh, Facebook employees obsessively playing kendama, the traditional Japanese game. So, uh, Pretty interesting. This isn't something that I would typically do, but I thought that I would point it out because, you know, a fair number of people in my audience, you know, would find something like that to be uh, quite interesting. Got some slime or something on my lips. Uh, From CNETsNews.com, getting started with Inbox by Gmail. Uh, Google has just released a new way to keep your inbox organized so you can spend more time being productive. This is kind of cool. Um, inbox by Gmail. Unfortunately, right now, uh, again, as of October 23rd, um, it's available by invite only. I have not received an, inv- an invite. I would love to receive an invite. So if anybody over at Google uh, uh, is, is watching this, um, you know, shoot me an email. Um, geekinator at quicksurf.com for my gmail address which is a private gmail address i'm not going to give it out here um i'd love to try out uh uh inbox by uh, gmail pretty awesome anyway um google has not given uh current users the ability to invite their friends so to gain access you need to send a request for an invite to inbox at google.com Um, Google apps is currently not supported. So if you're a Google apps user, you won't be able to use this. So, um, essentially this is pretty neat. Um, definitely check it out. And, you know, like I said, you know, I've already sent a request for an invite. If anybody at Google is watching this, please, please send me an invite. I'd love to check it out and talk about it here on the show. From Wired.com, Android 5.0, otherwise known as Android Lollipop. Uh, There's a first look at the uh, new version of Android on the new Nexus devices over at Wired.com. It's a pretty interesting run through. Definitely uh, check it out. You know, again, personally, I'm not a huge Android fan, so I'm not going to cover too much uh, about it. But I thought that I'd point it out because there are a fair amount of people out there that are Android fans and would love 
to uh, see what's new and upcoming in the new version of Android. So uh, pretty cool. Definitely take a look at that. This next story uh, is really not a story. It's just something that I thought was really neat, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. It's over at SpaceAlabama.com, um, and it's a picture. Uh, the space shuttle Hubble captures a comet pass of Mars. On Sunday, October 19th, the comet uh, sighting spring made a close pass of Mars. Hubble captured an image of Mars on October 18th and the comet during its pass on October 19th. Um, NASA composed the two exposures into one image to illustrate the distance between the two at their closest on the 19th. And, it, it, you know, they say they made a pass. They are way far apart. It's not even, uh, you know, it's, yeah, they're interstellar distances are much, much greater. A, a close call by interstellar distances is, you know, massively huge by Earth distances. Let's just put it that way. From Reuters.com, Digital River to be acquired by Investor Group for $840 million. E-commerce services provider Digital River Inc. said on Thursday it entered into an agreement to be acquired by an investor group led by Cirrus Capital Group LLC for about $840 million. The deal, valued at $26 per share in cash, is at a premium of almost 50% of Digital River's Thursday's closing price. The agreement, approved by the board of Minnesota-based Digital River, includes a 45-go-shot period during which the company can solicit alternative proposals, Digital River said on Thursday. Uh, Cirrus will finance the deal in a with a combination of equity and debt for which it has secured financing so pretty cool definitely check that out um you know i have over the years purchased a fair amount of software through digital river uh, back in the day um if you used zip not WinZip, but zip pk wears zip if you bought it online you bought it through digital river it was you know i mean that was just kind of Digital River was kind of like this backbone, un, you know, underlying all of these online software stores. You know, since then, it's kind of, at least in, in Apple land, it's kind of uh, gone to, through uh, Apple's uh, uh, App Store. But, you know, before the App Store, there was another App Store, if you will, or at least a processing mechanism for buying uh, uh, software online, and that was Digital River. So, anyway, pretty interesting. Um, that will do it for this edition of the Geekinator. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes, which you can find online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.